Welcome back to another essential finance video. Time to use my design skills to help solve some finance problems so that ultimately you can grow your account, make more money, and square up your finances. In this video, I'm going to go over dividends, a term that we hear often in the stock market. If you can only spare 10 minutes in your entire life learning about dividends, well, I have to say this is a perfect video for you because I spent a ton of time simplifying this subject over and over again to make it very, 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 very easy for absolute beginner to understand. I'm going to go over what a dividend is, how it works, why is it important, what can you do with it, why is it relevant to you. So now let's get started and roll the intro. <music> Good morning everyone, my name is Justine, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. And today I'm here to use design to explain dividend. I guarantee you it's nothing intimidating. How about let's start with a fun fact. Did you know that Warren Buffett actually get paid over 600 million US dollars in dividends every year? That means he can sit there and do absolutely nothing and still get paid over 600 million in cash every year. Pretty cool, huh? And that's one cool thing can absolutely happen in dividend investing. I'm going to explain dividends in four parts. What it is, how it works, why is it important, and how you can harness the power of dividend take you from knowing nothing to have a good understanding of dividends. And as you know my style, you don't need to smash the like button just yet. Today in the very end, if you find this video useful or insightful, hold me accountable. Now without further ado, let's put on my invisible designer hat and let's dive right into it. Part one, what it is? What is a dividend? The word dividend literally means divide the profit. What's the profit? Profit is real money. It's real money that a company made. So why do companies create dividends in the first place? Well, as you know, a share of stock is a piece of ownership to a publicly traded company. If I own a share of Apple, that means I have the ownership, I have a piece of ownership of Apple as a company, even though my ownership is really, 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 really small. I still own some of it. So back in the days in the 1800s, how do shareholders, how do they know that their investment is doing well? There's no SEC, there's no internet, no iPhone. Well, how do you check? Well, it will be through the quarterly dividends. If a company makes money, makes profit in that quarter, then they will distribute some of that profit into cash and give them to the shareholders. That's why there's dividends. So one easy way to remember what a dividend is, divide the end profit. I don't know if that's actually how it's supposed to be broken down, but hey, if it helps me remember, why not? So now allow me to walk you through one real example. If you look at Apple, this company, Apple Q4 2021, they had a 1.24 earnings per share. That's how much money they make. That's how much profit Apple made in Q4 2021. And they have decided to declare that 22 cents of those will be paid as dividends. So they will pay 22 cents as dividends per share. So what about the rest of the $1.02 per share? Well, they're going to keep it inside the company to fund other research and development projects, future projects, potential acquisition. They will spend to grow their business further and etc. There are two key words to know in terms of dividends at the most, most basic and fundamental level. One is called the X dividend date. It means that you will not receive any dividends if you own the stock on this date or later. Let's look at the same example. Apple's 22 cents dividend per share has an X dividend date on November 5th, 2021. Meaning if you own one share of Apple on November the 4th, whether you bought the share a while ago or you bought it literally on November 4th, you will get paid, you will receive that 22 cents per share dividend in your brokerage account. One easy way to remember is X dividend date, the X means exclude. That's the day that you will be excluded from receiving dividends. Exclude dividends. So if you want to receive a dividend, own the stock, buy the stock before the X dividend date. It's a clear cut. If you buy Apple stock on November 4th, yes, you will receive the dividend. November 5th, no. November 6th, no. November 7th, no. So on and so forth. Another important keyword, the dividend yield. You can find it here in Google Finance, in the Robinhood app, here on the Cash app. The dividend yield of a given company is not fixed, it's fluid. And it might not even be the same across different apps depending on how they calculate it. At the same time, it would not fluctuate too drastically. The way to calculate dividend yield is you use the cash dividend declared and divide it by the share price at that time. That's how you get the dividend yield. 
So let's go back to Apple, look at their dividend history. In the past three quarters, Q1, Q2, Q3 of 2021, they paid the same amount of dividend per share, 22 cents. But the stock price on those three dates are not the same. On April 28th, Apple is about $130 per share. On July 27th, it's about $147. On October 28th, it's about $153. And then we'll get roughly 0.66%, 0.6%, and 0.58% respectively. Since we have these numbers in front of me, I want to clarify a few misconceptions. The first one being, does lower dividend yield means they will pay less dividends? No, if you look at all three quarters, they pay the exact same amount of dividends. The dividend yield drops because the stock price of Apple went up. So no, low dividend yield does not mean less dividend paid. Misconception number two, decreasing dividend yield is a bad thing. Maybe, but it's not always true. And again, the yield decreased was because the stock went up in price. So if you look at your account, your total value, the total amount of money in your account, is actually growing over time. So the takeaway here is that the dividend yield is just roughly give a sense of how much this company pays their dividend. You can roughly do the math, use that yield number times the current stock price, and then you can expect about this amount of dividends in cash you will get per year. So if you prefer precision and accurate numbers, it's better off to go to their website, look at their maybe investor relations and look at their earnings report and see how much money that company declared as dividends. Number two, how does it work? How does dividend work? How are dividends paid? How do you get some of those dividend profits? First of all, only profitable companies can pay dividends. I mean, it makes sense, right? By definition, if the company is not profitable, there's no dividend, there's no profit to divide. So typically, companies that pay dividends are already profitable. They are probably found it a long time ago, a while back, and they don't find a great opportunity, a great way to reinvest their profit into their own business. So they will start to pay out dividends, pay out part of their profits to their shareholders. There are also a lot of other companies that are profitable, but they're not paying dividends. Well, what do they do with the profits? Well, they invest back into their businesses. For example, Google, Amazon, Netflix, Facebook, or Meta. But they're not paying shareholders dividends. They will keep their profit, reinvest back to their company to grow it bigger and bigger and bigger and make more money in the future. So to get your dividend, your divided profit, all you have to do is identify a profitable company that they said they have the dividend yield and on their earnings report, they said they declare some amount of dividend they will pay out to the shareholders. Then make sure you own a share of that company before the ex-dividend date. Whether you buy it a day before or you already own one a long time ago. Then on the payout day, let's use the same example, Apple Q3 2021. On November 11th, 2021, their payable day, if you own a share of Apple, you will see your dividends get deposited into your brokerage account, into the cash balance. If you have DRIP enabled, which stands for Dividend Reinvestment Plan, your brokerage firm will automatically use that dividend money to automatically buy more shares of that stock. In my example, I have roughly 110 shares of Apple. For each share, I get 22 cents. So I got a total of $24.29 in Q4 2021 as dividends from Apple. Because I enrolled into DRIP on November 11th, TD Ameritrade would take my $24.29 to buy an additional of 0.164 shares of Apple. That's it, just own the share before the ex dividend date. There's nothing else to do, no extra steps, and I like the simplicity of it. Number three, why is dividends important? Well, it's important because it compounds. Your growth with dividend is not linear, it curves up. It creates a flywheel, an incredible flywheel over a long period of time. That just means more money for you. Let's look at this chart, it's Apple. The blue line is Apple, the stock growth, and the orange line is the stock growth with dividends reinvested. The difference is actually pretty obvious and visual. With dividends reinvested, you actually get a higher return. Why else are dividends important? Well, if you have a lot of money, you can totally live off of dividends. For example, our soft drinking Coca-Cola is profitable. They pay dividends. Warren Buffett bought his first share of Coca-Cola in 1988. And today is 2021. So we can do some rough math. So 53 times 3.2% equals 1.7. So every year I will receive a dollar and 70 cents cash dividends for every share of Coca-Cola that I own. And Warren Buffett has 400 million shares. 
So he will get like roughly about $680 million cash as dividends from Coca-Cola every year. It's ridiculous, isn't it? He can do absolutely nothing, just sit there sipping Coca-Cola and receive $680 million US dollars. He definitely doesn't need to worry about his rent. Or maybe he can buy multiple houses every year, huh? Part four, how do you benefit from this? Why is it relevant to you? If you use a buy and hold or buy and forget long-term strategy, after you enable drip, you will see your account start to compound quarter over quarter, year over year. If you're a short-term trader, dividends do not matter to you because you're not gonna see the long compounding effect and a few cents here and there, it's not very exciting for you. I'm no longer a short-term or mid-term trader, so buying and holding Apple worked for me pretty well. And actually, ever since I switched to my 4.0 strategy last July, I've never sold a single share and it has been working pretty well, 80% gain in a year, I'm happy. If you're interested in that video, link up here and description down below. Well, back to the subject. Another case is that if you already have a lot of money, but why are you watching this channel then? Hmm. You can invest in all your money into some stable stock that pay predictable and consistent dividends. Once you have accumulated enough shares, you can totally live off dividends and let your dividends pay for your rent, your car, your internet, your Netflix, your Starbucks, basically any necessities that you need. And then you retire early. And this is called the dividend investing in the FIRE movement, which stands for financially independent and retire early. There are a ton of people doing it, including some YouTubers like Joseph and Andre. Another fun way to take advantage of dividends is that if you like getting your Frappuccino at Starbucks, and you know Starbucks is a profitable company, currently has a 1.8% dividend yield. If you think Starbucks will do well in the future and you decide to invest by buying 100 shares, then it will pay you almost $200 a year as dividends. And then you can use that $200 to pay for your favorite unicorn Frappuccino. You invest in Starbucks as a company and it pays you dividends so you can buy more Starbucks drinks. Pretty cool, huh? And of course, this means you don't do drip because you're not reinvesting that dividend back to Starbucks. You're actually taking that money out and enjoy your Frappuccino. All right, guys, we have covered quite a lot today. Dividends are not that complicated overall, isn't it? Do you have a better understanding of what they are and why you might find dividend investing appealing? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. There are, of course, more to cover, like what's the catch of dividends, how to personally do it, what are some good dividend stocks to invest, for example, what dividend stock to avoid. If there are a particular topic you want to see in future videos, just drop a comment down below. Well, if you're still watching, I really admire your craving for knowledge. So I'm going to give you some bonus content. Bonus content. I'm going to give you $2 worth of Apple stock, which is of course a dividend paying stock. All you have to do is one, use my referral code to sign up for the cash app if you don't already have one. Complete those requirements. If you don't know who to send the $5 to in step three, you can send it to me. I promise I will send it back to you. And then you will get $30 free money. I will get five. And two, let me know in the comment down below that you have used my referral code to sign up and what your cash tag is. Once I verify all those, I will split my $5 with you and then send you $2 worth of Apple stock so that you can enjoy the power of Compound. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something new or got some useful information, congratulations. And I hope I earned a big like from you for this video. If you want to see more finance videos like this, consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep using design to square up your finances. See you on the next video. Cheers.